Hello there. If you want to make some greeting cards into Canva and you are a completely beginner into Canva, you have to worry about that. I'm going to be showing you step by step what we're going to be uh, making here into Canva. So first of all, guys, I'm going to be sh uh, telling you real quick that I'm going to be using just a few tools of Canva Pro because Canva Pro has so much more to offer to us and it's very, very low prices. So if you want to check it out, I'm going to leave you a link down below in the description, guys, so you can check it out, your Canva Pro, for up to 30 uh, days, totally for free, and uh, to see for yourself if it's worthy or not to keep your Canva Pro. So let's begin, let's take that into it. So the first thing you want to do is to get involved into how this Canva uh, works, actually. So here, as you can see, I already have my account. If you don't have your account, you don't have to be worrying about that. You're going to be seeing something like this. I'm going to be opening a new private mode of Canva so you can see that Canva is going to be appearing like this. So uh, after you clicked into the link that I just gave you guys, you're going to be seeing something like this. So whether you can enter with your Apple, your Google, your Facebook or your Microsoft account, or you can even use this option. You can log in with your mobile if you wanted to. And actually Canva has an application totally for free that you can download in the App Store or in the Google Play Store as well. So I can certainly suggest you guys to stick around with your Google account because it's a little bit much uh, more easier to just sign it in. So once you sign it in, it's going to appear in something like this. Now we are entering here into canva.com so there are two ways that we can create some greeting cards the first one is to start from scratch and the second one is to start from a template now if you are a complete beginner i can strongly suggest that you just stick around with the uh with templates because templates are so um useful for almost every project so here what i want to do is to choose templates and as you can see, I'm going to choose all templates. So into template, I can take a look into business, social media, videos, marketing. So you can do videos, you can do stuff for marketing, you can do some um, business cards, flyers, logos, invitations, right? So what we want to do is to focus on all templates. And once we are in here, we want to look at our search bar, which is on the upper side. I want to click in here and I want to look for our keyword greeting card. I'm going to tap enter and what's going to happen is going to be open me all the greeting card templates um, for me. Right. So there are different sizes that I can be choosing. Uh, so I don't have to be worrying about that. So let's say, for example, that I want to make some uh, thank you notification for the support of my people in, I don't know, maybe Patreon or I don't know, maybe PayPal, something like that. So what I just need to do the first thing is to choose something that can be much, um, let's say, liked into my genre. So let's say, for example, I kind of like this one looks too colorful, too good. So I just need to click in here. I want to choose customize this template and then here we go so it's going to be opening up the design mode the edit mode of canva so what i just need to do which is actually really really simple is just to change a few things actually if you liked how it's going to be how it's looking so far what i just need to do is to change this uh at really great site let's say that i want to put in here my instagram hit into enter and they're just we're good to go right you can just hit into share download and here you want to customize your size depending on where you want to upload this file and hit it to download. Then uh, what I want to do here, let's say for example I don't like the font of this text, so I can just click one time and here in the upper side I can choose another font. So let's say that I want to look for something a little bit more handy or calligraphy like this. So I just need to just click into each one of them until I am finally uh, done with one of those. As you can see, there are a few that has like a little icon of like a king icon. So this crown icon means that this is only for Camp Pro users. So this is like the premium um, funds of Canva, right? So that's the reason why I told you it's really important and it's really worthy to have the Canva Pro because all these new features are really, really great and I can just take advantage of that. 
All right, so let's say, for example, that I want to add just one more thing before I finished my greeting card. Let's say that I want to add like a Facebook or an Instagram icon, right? So I can go into my elements. Here into elements, you're gonna see almost all the elements that you might want to use. So whether that would be from Instagram, for Amazon, for sales, apples, um, these are the recently used that I've just um, had from another project for, but let's say that I want to look here at my search bar. I want to tap here, search anything for Canva. I'm gonna tap Instagram. You have to tap your keyword, hit into enter, um, there we go. There are so much options that we can choose. So in my case, I don't want to look anything from white or black because if, because if I choose one of those here, uh, it's not going to be appearing. I'm not going to be seeing that too much because of the background. So that's the reason why I want to choose the first option. And here I just need to drag this and move it where I want to be located. As you can see, it's going to be appearing a few purple or pinky grids. So I can see where I can put my icon. I can move that, for example, like in here, like this. And here, let's say, for example, that here, my Instagram uh, text, I want to move that just right uh, next to the icon. And lastly, what I want to do is to choose effects. And here I want to choose background. So I can now take a look of how it's going to be looking my latest, um, my latest uh, text. And there we go, guys. It was really, really simple. So the last thing we want to do is to hit into share, hit into download, and here select your file type. In our case, I want to choose PNG. If you want to use PDF or a video or a GPG, you can totally do that as well. Uh, I'm just going to be telling you, lastly, if you want to make a thank you greeting card, like as a gift, you want to use the MP4 video or the uh, short clip with no sound. And if you want to animate anything in here, just like say that I want to choose this cloud and choose this one that says animate. So I can choose something basic, something generated, right? So the thank you note, you, just have to, you can just be creative here. Actually, you don't have to do anything uh, if you don't want it to, which is actually really, really simple. So now that I have here uh, all my stuff already um, created, now I can share this as a GIF. And here we go. Actually, it's looking really, really funny and cute. So there you have it, guys. Hopefully, this was a very useful video for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Hopefully, this was, uh, let's say, pretty basic um, and useful once again for you. To, um, once again, I'm going to leave you a link down below in your description so you can check it out, the Canva Pro version, which is, in my opinion, really, really worthy. So thank you so much for watching the video, guys. I will see you next time.